Well, <laughs> what's going on, guys? Hey, Jed, Jake with Schofield Welding. Guys, welcome back to another video tutorial. We're going to be building a new bed for the white, for the mini mouse. We've come up, no, the mighty mouse. Mighty mouse. You should see that thing called, called fifth wheels down the road. <laughs> yeah, the fifth wheel is like <laughs> four times bigger than the actual truck is. And with the weld machine and everything on it, this is a little mighty mouse. So, anyways, guys. Um, we're gonna get started on this. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and leave us, uh, leave us some suggestions for some future videos. And uh, guys, don't forget to check out the website, scopefieldwelding.com, and uh, we appreciate all the support and all the love you guys share with us. So, hope you guys enjoy the build. Let's get started. One thing you're gonna notice on this build is we actually put the hitch back in. So, we got everything fish plated back in, got everything taken care of, and, uh, we're gonna go with a full length bed on this tutorial. So if you guys are looking for full length beds, um, we're gonna have the prints and everything drawn up for this bed. And you'll be able to get your frame width and, and how we mount it and whatever. Hey guys, building the bed on the truck is so much easier. So right here, I got 107 and a quarter inches. When it go, I've learned this, building handrails for the last year and a half is when I take notes, this is just a handrail I'm doing actually right now, um, I not only take specific measurements, but I make specific notes on those measurements. And then if you look at my phone, it's got so many pictures of the before project, kind of the area where the handrail's gonna go, and then after, because I've gotta promote the, what I've done. Um, and so that's what I'm telling you guys, we're gonna build this bed, and you're gonna see, we're gonna take these really particular notes on the measurements. We're gonna say, what was that measurement? That was 107 and a quarter. 107 and a quarter. Now, if I just write 107 and a quarter, uh, tomorrow, the next week, when we actually start building this thing, I'm gonna question whether or not I came off of the cab of the truck or if I actually gave myself, like I already took out three inches or what. So that's why it's important to take really specific notes. So important. You have a pen? We need to go get some grade eight bolts and uh, put them down. Try three quarter, um, three quarter nuts and bolts. And so I'm gonna run to the store really quick and go grab them. We're gonna wind up putting those in here to hold this, to hold this rail down and that rail down. Um, but you gotta get grade eight, guys. These things are these are the toughest bolts, and you definitely don't want a bed ripping off because you uh, tried to cut some corners or something, you know. I mean, this is $27 worth of freaking bolts, but at the same time, it's $27 worth of insurance, too, so.
Okay guys, welcome back. Uh, we've been doing just mostly time lapses, mostly for the fact that um, there will be a set of prints that goes along with this bed build eventually. Um, but guys, this thing has been turning out so freaking sweet. I'm beyond excited about it. It's, it's just been a really nice bed build. But anyways, <coughs> and I'm finally not rushed to get through one, which I really appreciate and like a lot as well. So. Guys, as you can see, there's going to be a box right here, and what we got to do, basically what I'm trying to do is get the get this top piece to, I got to get the measurements on it, but what I got to do first is I got to weld this, this floor in and make sure that everything's square, which is going to solid all this up, which is going to give me my final, basically my final length on it. So, anyway, so that's what we got to do really quick. I got to finish doing that, so I got to go grab the welder. Um, I do got both pieces cut for this. Actually, I got all the pieces cut for it. So, where I got the floor for this was actually out of the top deck. So, when we went ahead and measured out the top deck and then pulled out to the, to the front and whatever, the angle piece that fell out of it is actually the floor to this toolbox, which is sweet because it's the perfect angle and it works out great. So, anyways, going to run over, grab the weld machine really quick. We're going to hurry and get this one tacked together and then, uh, and then get it in there. Well, let's get this thing tacked up.
So guys, all I do is I tack it up. Um, you can grind the tacks out if you want. I don't know that I'm going to, but the reason I put this plate, this is 3 16 plate, uh, up underneath it is because it actually gives, gives me a really nice edge for one and all the way around it so I can have a really nice place to weld. I'm gonna cut this tack and kind of pull that in just a little bit because I can see where it's doing this. And I want this stuff perfect. Cut this tack real thing. Now I'm just going to weld out this bottom so that when it's in here, we don't have to weld it all the way out. It's already done. Okay, guys, one of the reasons I'm not really jumping around too much on this, this is 3 16 plate. Um, this is 3 16 This is 3 16 Most of this bed is 3 16 Um... A lot of the drawers and the dividers and things like that's all going to be 10 gauge, but for the most part, this is going to be mostly 3 16 You don't have to build it that heavy. I wanted to build it that heavy just for the fact that, I mean, it's freaking stout and it's going to last a long time. I'm really taking my time on this bed because I really want this bed to be everything I want it to be. So oh, there's the box. Now I got, I'm gonna let this cool down for just a little bit before I try to fight it up into this. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna come in from the bottom, slide it up. Uh, probably gonna need Jed's help. So he's probably gonna help me tack this in here. And then, um, yeah, I think it's gonna work good though. It's gonna look good. That's for dang sure. We already done the other side and it looks freaking awesome. So yeah, this is gonna be super handy. I'm um, not sure what we're going to do in this space right here, but it's there when we need it, right? So, uh, probably probably wind up putting bevelers and, and stuff like that in it. I'm not quite sure, 100% sure yet, but it is there when we need it. So, anyways, let me let this cool down. We'll bring you back here in just a little bit. Okay, here we go. What's going on guys? Hey, thank you for hanging out with the video and we really do appreciate you guys just watching through the videos. Guys, like you can see behind me, there's quite a bit that's already been getting done just since the first video. So guys, stick around for part two. It's coming out here shortly. I'll start probably working on that tonight. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy the bed build. And guys, I think it's turning out pretty freaking good. Everything's lining up good. I even did a little, little break in here to get that all to line up good. And I think it's gonna look freaking sweet. And it's a pretty simple bed to build. And so for anybody that's looking for like a really nice, really nice, classy, sometimes less is more, kind of a bed this is the one I think this is a freaking sweet bed it does have a drawer in the back which I'm going to show you how to build and then um, yeah pretty freaking excited about it so guys don't forget to like subscribe hit the notifications so that as soon as the uh, second part of this bed build is up you guys will be notified all right thank you guys again for everybody that is purchasing things on the website that's really helping us out and being able to produce the videos and to be able to build something like this to show you guys how to do that. So thank you guys again. Everybody be blessed. We'll talk to you here in a bit. See ya.